Once again, we're at Rightway Hyundai for another 98 Rock test drive. We're on West Main and Waynesburg. You can hear the traffic going by on one of these nice spring days. Finally, we've got some warm weather. Maybe you're thinking about a new vehicle. If you're like me, I've driven an SUV since I was in high school. I love the way they sit so you can see out everywhere. You sit up a little higher. And one of the brand new ones for 2021 is the Hyundai Santa Fe. Now, Hyundai Santa Fe came out, I believe, in the model year 2000. It's been a perennial leader for Hyundai. They've done what the auto industry calls for 2021, kind of a mid-cycle refresh. That's what the auto industry, I think, calls them. What does that mean? Well, I've got Rob Hansen here. He's one of the great sales folks here at Rightway Hyundai. Now, when I say kind of a mid-cycle refresh to the auto industry, that means that it's they sometimes they'll put a new front end on it or they'll they'll change a little bit or they may uh, offer new engine choices but hyundai's kind of went back to the uh, the uh, drawing board here and kind of started over fresh on a car that was already winning awards right 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 absolutely you know a lot of people think it's just a facelift but you know besides updating the front end updating the rear end the side profile is really the same as the 2020. But what they did is can added a whole new frame underneath the car, a brand new engine, a brand new transmission. They kept some of the similar aspects of the 2020 in the interior, but they updated the center console area to include a, a brand new shift by wire system. Yeah. And we're gonna look at that here in a second because that's kind of cool. Um, and when we talk about the 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe, it was winning awards. I was uh, looking at this last night. KBB, Kelly Blue Book, a uh, brand that everybody knows, uh, awarded it the mid-size SUV of the year last year. And then Hyundai said, oh, hold my beer a second. We're gonna go in and recreate the wheeler a little bit and make it even better. Rob talked about a brand new uh, platform. It's wider, it's longer just by a little, gives you plenty of interior space. And then as he said, the side still has a great profile. This is one of the best uh, looking SUVs in the business in the midsize category. But if you walk this way and come around to the front, you'll notice that they do a lot of uh, work here on the front end, this great grill. Now this is the limited, it comes in chrome. I've seen the calligraphy, which is the next, mo uh, the next uh, size, size up. Uh, and it comes in a black. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> I love this too. I love the bright on this. Uh, and then of course it comes with LED uh, daytime running lights. They move down here into the front fascia with the headlights and of course it's got these chrome insets that just kind of tie it all together. It's really a gorgeous car. Under the hood you're talking about a new engine choice. I know there's a couple of different uh, engine choices depending on the trim level, Rob. Uh, but all give you plenty of power and great fuel economy too. They do, absolutely. Uh, this one is the brand new 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. So it has way more power, right around, I think it's 50 or 60 more horsepower than the original turbocharged engine that they had in, in 2020. So if you're, you know, you're going on, a, if you're like me and you're going to take it to the beach with the kids and some stuff behind the back seat to, uh, for a week, or maybe you're going up uh, skiing if you've got a place that's just still got some snow left, you're going to find that this is the perfect vehicle for that kind of thing. With plenty of power, plenty of uh, uh, gas mileage to boot. And also this year, I know that uh, they're either just out or they're coming out very soon. This is going to be the first year for the Santa Fe hybrids. Yeah, actually Hyundai's uh, developing hybrid for almost every one of their vehicles coming out here soon. We have hybrid Elantras, we're going to have hybrid Santa Fe's, we're going to have hybrid Tucson's. It's just going to run the gamut of their entire lineup. Which is just another reason to think about Hyundai here at Rightway Hyundai on West Main and Waynesboro. Now we're going to back up because uh, Rob's going to show me one of the great things about this vehicle is the park assist, right? Is that what they're calling this? Yeah, they're calling it parking assist. So not only have they added foldable mirrors to really get into tight spots, mm -hmm. but you know when you're really close to a car, you don't want to ding your door or something like that. When you, you maybe got a whole family you want to load in there, you want to got to get all the doors open. This way you can remotely move the vehicle with the key fob. So <laughs> with the key fob. With so the go key ahead, fob. Show us, show us this. Yeah. So we'll hit lock twice and we'll remote start the vehicle by pressing and holding this button. Hear the engine start. Yep. Once it's started, I have two buttons here, one to move forward, one to move back. Uh -huh. If I want to move out of the parking spot, I can press back. So the picture you're will... in a parking space and you just want to back it up so you don't have to open the doors. Right? Yep, and the car will reverse as soon <laughs> as I release the button, Stops. the car puts on the brakes. I can move it forward as well. Takes a second to change. Yep. There it goes. So you want to pull it into a parking space. Yes, sir. Oh, that is awesome. That is totally terrific. And if any car comes behind you, a person walks behind you, if it detects anything around the vehicle, it's going to stop. It's not going to move. So they're going to make sure it's not going to hit anybody. You also have to be within 20 feet of the vehicle to, to be able to do happen. that option. Terrific. 
All right, Rob, I tell you what, we're going to take a little break here. We're going to get inside and show everyone the new cabin. All right, we are inside the cabin of the 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe, uh, brand new for 2021. Rob Hansen is here. Uh, and I did a little bit of homework on this, Rob, ahead of time. So uh, yeah, I was just so uh, impressed with what you could get in the Santa Fe this year. Uh, this trim level comes with just a whole bunch of stuff that we want to talk about. But first of all, the big thing right here in the center, everybody loves having the big display these days. This is the 10 inch display, ties in uh, as well. You also get the digital dash when you come at this trim level. Uh, the thing I love about Hyundai though, you've got the, the uh, 10 inch display, but it, they also give you the buttons. If you're old school like me and you, you like having the, uh, the adjustments or the push buttons for HVAC, uh, heating, uh, ventilation, and air conditioning, they're all there. Uh, the drive mode, which is I want you to show us that. And then also this year, brand new, is the uh, shift by wire uh, push button transmission. Now, why is that important? Uh, well, it's going to open up the cabin. We're going to show you some, uh, some storage here in a second. It's a technology that's been proven over the last decade or more. It really shows the level of trim that you can get in this Hyundai. This is just so gorgeous. All the panels fit together. It's so luxurious uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the materials that you get in this as well. Hyundai's been really up in their game over a number of years. And, you know, even though this dash is kind of reminiscent of the 2020 Santa Fe, uh, they've definitely made some improvements with the bigger screen and pulling up this center console now that you don't need to have that big manual gear lever sitting in here. Mm -hmm. uh, they've added that that wonderful screen right there in the middle, which is really neat when you, now, you know, change drive modes. this is a digital display, modes. so it's, yeah. it's a screen on a, of itself if people don't know, understand this at home. And you say, well, why do I need a digital display? Well, show them. <laughs> well, when you switch into sport mode, you'll get these really, really neat animations that just change up the entire gearing and the yeah, animation. It changes the way the it gauges. looks. Yeah, yeah, this is so cool. And there's a ton of information you can, you can customize to display up there in the center of the screen as well, which really comes in handy and it just makes it look great so if you're if you're a driving enthusiast it's something that you really want now we talked about uh what i it's what i call the floating uh center console here and the reason it floats is because it is shift by uh, wire with park uh in the automatic transmission here it gives you this huge storage area i don't want to get too close here uh, <laughs> in everybody's space but there's all kinds of storage space under here opens that up uh, you are telling us about your phone and the port and the uh, storage here. You've got a large phone that fits right down in. Yeah, here. there's a small trap door that you actually slide your phone into that that charges it wirelessly. And I have a fairly large phone with a big protective case on it, and I was worried is my phone going to fit down in there? And it really just it fits right in with room to spare. That's cool. So you can fit a rather large phone yeah. down in that spot. They really that, thought about it. That's cool. Yeah, it, the, the fit and finish, the panel fit, the feel of the, the material is just so high end. And I was also, I, I saw it, there's a big discussion group on just these. And you're saying, <laughs> why is there a discussion group? Why are there social pages devoted to the Hyundai key fob? Well, it's because it's heavy. It's uh, It feels almost like a Range Rover key fob. It's designed that way. It just shows you the level of quality that they're bringing to it. Of course, this one's got the uh, the park assist that we talked about. It gives you all of that at your fingertips that uh, Rob demonstrated for us outside, which is so cool. Just another reason to take a look at the 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe. And you guys have got a great selection of them. I know right now uh, here at Rightway Hyundai, we're on 250 West Main in Waynesboro, right? Yes, sir. And we're getting more weekly. All right, we're outside. This is the 2021 Santa Fe. We're doing the 98 Rock test drive today. Got Rob Hansen here from Rightway Hyundai on West Main and Waynesboro. Uh, you've been very helpful today. I want to really appreciate your time, but this is the cargo area. This thing is huge, and I know it's got some special stuff going on that people may not see right away, right? Yeah, a lot of manufacturers have under the floor storage for their SUVs, but this car really knocks it out of the park as far as space. Not only do you have a small area up here where your jack is stored, you can store items here. You have this really, really large storage area That's underneath huge. the floor. And it's solid styrofoam, so you can actually load ice in here. So you're like if you're going on a picnic or you've got a family thing coming up and you want to ice down some drinks, you could put that in there and then still close it up and put stuff on top. Absolutely. And oh, this, wow. this entire piece is removable and there's a perfectly flat floor underneath there. You can actually fit a full size suitcase oh, right. underneath the floor of the car. So you got a family vacation coming up. This is a great way. Oh, all kinds of storage here going on. This is so cool. And again, one of the things that we really want to talk about with all of this storage two row seating great interior on the 2021 hyundai santa fe on the redesign that we've talked about of an already great vehicle tell us about hyundai assurance tell us about the, the world's best warranty 
Our He's got his hands up. This got to be our warranty <laughs> beats anybody else's in America. It's right. ten year, one hundred thousand mile on the powertrain. Anything that makes the car go, transmission, drive line, engine. Five years, sixty thousand mile, comprehensive. Or most people know it as bumper to bumper. Right. Uh, everything on the car is covered. Wow. And then there's even more warranties after that, as far as roadside assistance and unlimited miles. There's warranties on the metal because Hyundai's actually the only manufacturer in the world that has their own steel mills. So they guarantee the metal on the car, I believe, for seven years. Wow. Yeah. Now a lot of people didn't know that. That that's they've heard of Hyundai Assurance. They know that Hyundai started this probably more than a decade ago. And it was really to cause uh, Americans uh, to be comfortable with the brand that they may have not been that familiar with. But here they are over a decade later still offering it, so you know they stand behind it. They stand behind it. And you know, if they, if they didn't stand behind their cars and they offer a warranty like that, and their cars are constantly being fixed, they're gonna lose money. They're guaranteeing that their car is gonna last and, and, and you're not gonna to have to worry about any problems. So uh, p let's uh, close the hatch here. I know it's got the power hatch, right? Power sure. tailgate. Get a look at the back end here. This is a great vehicle. This is Rob Hansen. He's been doing uh, the 98 Rock test drive with us on the Hyundai Santa Fe for 2021. This is where you come get them. This is on West Main and Waynesboro at Rightway Hyundai. Rob, thanks very much. You're welcome.